how are we doing? I hope you're doing wonderful. I'm currently traveling, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to take a break from the grind. So here I am. Welcome to this week's reading vlog. <laughs> are we going to be reading? We have yet to see. Before we can get into this very exciting reading vlog, I did want to take a second to thank this week's sponsor, which I am so excited for. I still can't believe this is happening. Everybody give a very big round of applause to Book of the Month. Book of the Month is a fast-growing online book service for readers, and it's their mission to promote new and emerging authors to help us discover books that we are bound to love. Their team vets hundreds of books each month and gives readers their choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles so we can spend more time reading and less time researching. And who doesn't love reading? I mean, if you're in this channel, you probably love reading as much as I do, so like, it's a win-win. <laughs> they are also risk-free, which means that if you're not really feeling the selection that they have that month, if you want to skip for that month, you can always do so and there's not going to be any extra charge. In the month of December, they're actually running a very special deal, so like, get on it. Using the code JOLLY, new members can get their first book for $5. $5! Yes! Let's take a look at the five books that have been picked out for December. First we have A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. This is a dark psychological thriller about the daughter of a serial killer and the copycat killer who has emerged 20 years later. Then we have The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox, a feel-good holiday-themed romantic comedy about identical twins who switch lives in the days leading up to Christmas. Olga Dies Dreaming by Xochitl Gonzalez, the tale of a status-driven wedding planner grappling with her social ambitions, absent mother, and Puerto Rican roots, all in the wake of Hurricane Maria. A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw. A story about fairy tales, our fear of the dark, and losing yourself within the wilderness of your mind. Somebody's Daughter by Ashley Ford, which is the story of a childhood defined by the ever-looming absence of her incarcerated father and the path we must take to both honor and overcome our origins. This next book is not a main selection but can still be selected as an add-on and that is The Anthropocene Reviewed, which is the first ever work of nonfiction from John Green it's a deeply moving and mind-expanding collection of personal essays about the shared human experience. Make sure that you head on over to Book of the Month and use the code JOLLY to get your first book for $5. $5. $5. <laughs> so thanks again, Book of the Month, for sponsoring this. And thank you guys for watching and making opportunities like these possible. This is all because of you, so... Yes, I hope you enjoy. I thought, what better way <laughs> to start a reading vlog than with reading updates? Your girl has them. Since I've been traveling, I haven't done the most reading, but I have been having a little bit of fun with House Moving Castle. Hi, look at her. It's House Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. And as you can see, I haven't really, yes, I'm using a ruler as a bookmark because anything can be a bookmark if you try hard enough. I started this I think the first night that I got here to Germany and I am in page 56. <laughs> I haven't really tried that hard to continue reading. What I've read so far I really enjoy because it gives us details into Sophie's life that the movie doesn't show us and I don't know if you know but House Moving Castle is actually my top five Studio Ghibli films so I love getting more details about characters that I love and adore and sometimes even see myself in them. I'm also annotating, but I'm not annotating it like I usually do. I did do a video about my annotating process. If you're interested, it's going to be up here, but I thought it would be fun to try a different method for House Moving Castle because since this isn't actually my book, this is Vanny's copy, I thought it would be fun to do like a cute fun little moment. So I'm using orange for girl boss moments, which there are a lot of, as you can see. And also the blue one just means daddy alert. The alarm is going brrr. That was Vanny's idea. So far there's only been two daddy moments, which is very disappointing, you know what I mean? Like I, House Moving Castle, 
barely has any howl so maybe if i keep on reading i'll see more of howl but so far yeah there's only been two moments <laughs> So I've been reading this very nonchalantly and then I also actually read a graphic novel which is Pumpkin Heads by this person and Faith Erin Hicks. Here we go. It's cute, I will give you that, but I don't like it was very basic. Let's say it like that. It was very basic. There wasn't really anything new to love. They're in this annual festival for autumn and they're just like going around every stand and they're just having fun chasing girls, chasing chickens. It was cute but um it didn't give me the tingles, it didn't give me the feels which is kind of what I was looking for when you pick up like a cute romancy graphic novel but I haven't done a lot of reading and I probably won't um, like for the rest of the month of December, which is fine. December is such a busy month, so it's okay if you can't read as much as you used to. I think that's going to be it for this reading update. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. Love you all so very much. I know I say that all the time, and every time I mean it. But yes, um, hope you enjoy. I'll see you later.
Bye. You nice. Keep going.